Hey guys, Horizon Call of the Mountain, developed by Fire Sprite and Guerrilla Games, is a VR title for the PSVR 2 that gives the users the ability to view the world of Horizon in the first person view. It was released February 22nd, 2023, and retails for $59.99, as it has stunning visuals and is very good. Plus, I'm just happy it's not $69.99, to be honest. In this new Horizon title, you play as Reyes in VR, where you are provided with an engaging and immersive environment that is both spectacular and thrilling. This title offers about 6 to 8 hours of experience. And one thing to know for many people that will experience the Horizon story for the first time is that it can be confusing, and although the opening scene will try to help you understand the story more, it might also confuse you a bit. I luckily had just played the last two games, so this was no problem for me, but I can see many people being confused. It definitely offers players an understanding of what the PSVR 2 is capable of doing, as it gives you many things to do, like climbing challenges, that you will do a lot to be honest and can get annoying, but there are other cool things to do like taking down many enemies using your bow and arrow, and these fights and battle locations are perfect, in my opinion. Although I expected an open world game, it is a bit linear, but I don't mind that, as I was engaged to the story the whole time. The game features intuitive controls and responsive haptic feedback, which many people don't like, but fortunately for me, it's something I do like in games. Horizon Call of the Mountain is an exceptional day one title that showcases the power of the hardware. Unfortunately for many people, this is a single player game, and you will not be able to play with others. One thing about the Sense controllers is that their battery isn't too long, so it can be annoying to have to charge them, especially since you only have a cable for one, so you will need to get another cable to charge both at the same time. The game allows you to play while sitting down, standing up, or in room scale mode. The latter one which is possible if you have a space of 2 meters square, which is not possible for everyone, also me, which is the reason why I played it mainly sitting down, but I don't believe this will hurt my opinion of the game. I'm glad this I'm glad Horizon Call of the Mountain was the launch title because we now get to see what PlayStation can do in the future and I believe they will do fantastic work. But unfortunately for many people who expect Call of the Mountain to offer the best entertainment experience unlike any other VR title, this is not the case as we are still very far from that, but it remains a must play for anyone seeking an immersive and thrilling VR experience. And although this is a launch title, I believe Horizon Call of the Mountain will be one of the best PSVR games from here on out. I give it a 9 out of 10 and recommend it to anyone who has enjoyed the past Horizon titles and to anyone who enjoys VR games. And if this will be your first Horizon title, why not try the other games? And if you only enjoy VR, at least look up the story for the past games, as this will help you enjoy the game more. As for me, I hope they do another Horizon or if not God of War inspired title for one of their future VR games. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.